Now let's try working with the user's input in order to add 100 to whatever they type. Go ahead and run the cell. Inputting the number 9 will give us a proper result. However, this conversion would not work well with the word 9, because the default return type for input is a string, as noted by the first print statement in this cell. Now some words about handling errors. In the last cell we convert the user input to an integer. However, what if they put in a word instead? The program would break right away. As a developer, we must assume that the user won't put the proper information that we expect them to. To handle this issue, we are going to introduce try and accept blocks. Try and accept are used to catch errors. It works by trying to run what is inside the try block. If it doesn't produce an error, then it continues without hitting the accept block. However, if an error occurs, then the code in the accept block runs. This is to make sure your program doesn't stop running if an error puts up. This is a generic way to handle errors. There are many other methods like using the functions isAlpha and isAlnum. Let's look at an example using the try and accept blocks. Go ahead and run that cell. Try inputting different answers including non-numbers. You'll notice that our non-valid print statement will output if you don't input a number. If you didn't have any try and accept in place, the program would break and the last print statement wouldn't occur. Now, in most other la programming languages, indentation is used only to help make the code look pretty. For Python, though, it is required for ind indicating a block of code. Let's take our previous code and look at the two lines after our try statement and how they are indented and are known as blocks of code. These lines belong to the try statement because they are directly indented after the statement. The same goes for our other print statement within the except block. It's the reason that our non-valid print statement only runs if the except block runs. All blocks of code need to be connected to a statement. You can't indent a section randomly. And please note that indents must be consistent. It does not always need to be four spaces. However, a tab is four spaces, so it's usually easier to indent with tabs.